Hi, Taylor. I am going to kind of makeshift a video for you of what I was talking about where you have, so here's our window with um, our picture window, right? With the um, blinds down. So let's just pretend there's kids out there um, making noises and really, so my dog is, Good boy, bud. Good job. So my dog, good boy. So my dog is, um, let's just pretend that he can hear the noises out front. Good boy. So he looked over there because he's like, what's going on? But he's not reacting. He's not really doing anything. And I'm just giving him treats. I'm just giving him treats for not reacting, not doing anything. Good boy, bud. Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah. And you can even do, so you have to be real careful um, if, if your dogs, you know, have resource guarding issues with food. But one thing you can start to work on is find it. I will email you a video of find it. But basically you take like three pieces of food and you just throw them on the ground and say, find it. And then they go, find it. Find it. So this can help distract like... When there's noises outside, they can't see them, but they can hear them. But we're, so we're allowing them to hear the noises, but we're also giving them food at the same time that they can hear the scary noise. So what we're doing is we're changing their emotional response to the scary thing outside. Good job, buddy. Literally just feed. Yep, until the noise goes away. Then when the noise goes away, we're done. Huh, all done. And like I said, you can keep Tupperware containers of food all over. Um, that way you can just quickly grab it. So you can work on that now and your family can work on it when you're gone. You're so cute, bud.